This short video will show you how to use WebAdvisor to self-register for courses. First, log in. If you are not already logged in to My ECC, then you would have uh, needed to enter your SUNY ERIE credentials, your login and your password. I was already logged in, therefore I'm already in WebAdvisor. If I click on Students, I will see this page and then I can use the search register for sections tool to start building a schedule. Select a term, click for subjects. Let's say that I want to look for a couple of different subjects. I can limit the search to certain times as shown there. I can limit to certain days as shown here. And I can also limit to certain locations. Here, I'm going to look for art courses and astronomy courses at City Campus for fall 2019. And here's my list. If I want to register for any of these courses, let's say I want to register for Astronomy 180, I click Select, first making sure to check that there is availability in the, in the class. For example, some courses will show that there is zero available seats. In those cases, the system will not allow you to register for the course. Click Submit, registering for AS 180 AB. It will give you the same page a second time or a similar page a second time. And in that case, just reselect the course, making sure to select the register function or the register action. Go down to the bottom, click Submit. You will get this registration results page showing the course as a registration. You'll see the language here says, here are all of the sections for which you are currently registered. Click OK, and you'll be taken back um, to one final step, a SUNY survey that you may need to fill out. If not, just click Next Page. If so, then please respond to the survey questions. They are valuable to us. Here, you're back at the main WebAdvisor page. Here, you can, for example, check your schedule by looking at my class schedule. Pick your term. And you will see the courses for which you're registered. If you'd like to drop a class, you can do that by registering and dropping sections. If you scroll to the bottom of this page, you will see uh, a drop column. Simply select that. Click Submit, and now the course is no longer in, um, in your schedule because it has been dropped. And you will see here in the sections uh, for which I'm currently registered, there is nothing. So I click OK, and just to confirm, I can click on my class schedule again, verify that there is nothing for which I'm registered. So that is how you register for and drop sections electronically at SUNY Erie.